The common hand abacus was invented in 300 BC, somewhere in Rome, China, or maybe even Babylon. It has undergone many changes throughout time in different countries, and they all have different versions of it. The way the abacus works is it has a wooden frame around the outside, a wooden beam that goes through almost the middle, and then it has beads on top of the beam and beads on the bottom of the beam connected to rods so they can slide up and down. Um, each bead on the top tier is worth five, and each bead on the bottom tier is worth one. When they are pushed towards the center, they are counted, or considered counted, and when they're pushed away from the beam, they're considered to be at zero. Each rod in the abacus always represents a different place holder. Mainly there are hundredths, tenths, ones, hundreds, thousands, and then they go up from there. In, in this picture, the specific abacus is showing the number 87,654,321 and then two zero places at the end. You can see that because if you start farthest to the left, one of the five beads is pushed towards the middle and three of the one beads are pushed towards the middle, therefore making it an eight. Same with the seven, there's a five, and then two ones, making it a seven. This next picture is actually really cool. It shows the evolution of the calculator, and the abacus was kind of the first part of that. There was people counting with fingers, they counted stones, um, then they used the abacus. Then they had Napier's bones, which was like kind of like a multiplication table, and then the Pascal calculator was more of like a mechanical calculator. The Colomore's calculator was just a version of Pascal's. The Curta was more handheld, but it was the same idea as Pascal's and Colomer. And then digital, obviously, we still use those today, and they're more handheld. And then smartphones, you can have a calculator in any type of smartphone. So, most people are unsure what an abacus even is, and um, to be honest, I'm really not sure how you even multiply on it. I looked into it multiple times and still couldn't figure it out, but... Um, we still use abacuses today, just in different forms, um, keeping score in air hockey, foosball, things like that. Smaller markets in China and Russia and places like that still use them today, and even younger kids use them to learn how to count.